This is why you must always keep your plans to yourself until it is ripe and done. My dear friend, I am so happy. So many good things are happening in my life right now and I feel so happy. My children are really doing well, my son just graduated from university and was called up for an interview. The job comes with a beautiful apartment, a car, huge allowances and very big pay. I am so happy. Tomorrow is the interview and I hope he gets the job. In fact I am sure he will get the job, because he was recommended by a shareholder of the company and he is very qualified. Oh wow, that's really good. You are so lucky. Your children are doing very well. And you are already reaping the fruit of your labor. Congratulations to you my friend. My dear friend, help me thank God for his love. I am so happy. Mrs. Sarah is always talking about how good life is to her. All her kids are really doing well, just last month her son-in-law got her a car. And now her son is about to get a very big job. My children attended better schools than hers. Why are they getting the best life now? I need to do something to stop her son from getting this job. Else she will start thinking she is better than me. Woman why have you come here? What do you want from this shrine? Wise one, I am here because there is something that is bothering me and I need a solution. My friend's son is about to get a very high pay job. Tomorrow is his interview. I want him to fail that interview, I don't want him to get the job. Do anything you can so that he won't get hired. I have his picture, full name and the name of the company. Okay, I will do just that. Do not worry. I will even ruin his life and career. You can go. Hi mister, do you have an appointment here? What can I do for you? Hi, actually I have an interview here today. Sorry sir, but the interview has ended and someone has already been picked for the job. You are late. I was held by traffic, but I came recommended. The job could not just pass me by. Anyways, I am sorry you missed the job. Oh no, this can't be happening to me. I can't lose this job. What is happening? Why are you home so early? How did the interview go? Mom, I missed the interview and the job has been given to someone else. Seriously? Oh no. How did this happen? You couldn't have missed the interview, you left home very early, so what happened? Mom I really do not understand what happened, I was held up by traffic and by the time I got there I already missed the interview. Oh no. This is not good at all. This job would have done so much for the family. It is okay dear. You will get another job. How are you doing my friend? Where are you up to? I'm good my friend I am on my way to my daughter's house. How about your son? Did he get the job? He didn't get the job, he missed the interview and lost the job. Oh sorry dear, anyways he will get another job. Talking about going to your daughter's house, how is your daughter and her husband? They are doing well, in fact I am going there to check on my daughter. You know she is pregnant and is almost due for delivery. In fact she has been noticing some signs of labor. So I am going over to her place to help her. Tomorrow is supposed to be her due date. Oh really? That's really great. So you will soon become a grandmother. Wow. Congratulations in advance. Yes oh, my dear I will soon become a grandmother. I am so excited about it. I have to get going now. Bye. Okay, say me well to your daughter and son-in-law. Wise one, I have come again for your help. My friend keeps sharing her good news to me and it's so annoying. Her daughter is about to deliver a baby. She will be due for delivery tomorrow. I want you to make her loose the baby. Don't kill her, only kill the baby. I don't want my friend to become a grandmother before me. My son, I don't know what is happening anymore. Your sister was doing great, she was so strong all through and the scan always confirmed the baby fine. I wonder what could have gone wrong that made her baby die during delivery. Even the doctors are confused. 
She is so devastated. I feel so bad. Just when good things are about to happen in our lives, something bad happens and turns the situation to bad news. This never used to happen before. Lately bad things have been happening in our family. First it was you losing that job. Now it is your sister losing her baby on delivery. God what have we done wrong? Mother this is really bad. Something has obviously gone wrong. Welcome pastor. Mrs. Sarah I learned about your loss. Sorry about your granddaughter as well. Welcome pastor. Please take a seat. What do I offer you? Mrs. Sarah don't bother about giving me anything. I am fine. I came because I have been having a particular revelation about you and your family. Something is not right. Someone is behind all your predicaments. There is someone who is not happy about the good things happening in your life. We need to pray now. It's obvious that something is wrong. I am ready, pastor. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the life of Mrs. Sarah and her children. Thank you for all the good things you are doing in their lives. May your name be praised. Father, I commit Mrs. Sarah and her family into your mighty hands. It is obvious that the devil is trying to destroy their lives and steal their happiness. Father, do not let the devil have his way in their lives. Today marks the end of every setback and misery. Whoever is responsible for this evil happening in their lives, let the fire of the Holy Ghost descend on them right now. They shall know no peace until they confess and repent. Restore joy and increase in this family. Heavenly Father set confusion in the camp of the wicked one. In the might name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor thank you very much for coming and your prayers. This was much needed. Thank you. Why are you here so early this morning, and why are you behaving like this? What is the matter? Fire. Fire. I'm burning, I will confess, I have done something very terrible to you and your family. I will confess, I don't want to die. Please forgive me, I am the reason for all your recent predicaments. Every time you tell me about something good that is about to happen in your family, I get jealous and go fetish to stop it from happening. I made your son lose that job and I also killed your grandchild. I am sorry, please forgive me. I couldn't sleep all night my whole body is on fire. I am in shock, I can't believe that you are behind our problems. I always tell you about the good things about to happen in my family, I never knew you were jealous of me. I thought you were my friend, so I always felt free to tell you things. I should have known where my problems was coming from. I have learned my lessons now, but through the hard way. From today onwards I will always keep my wins to myself. Because I am not sure who to trust anymore. Please go away and never come around me again. Let God be the judge. I will never tell anyone when something is about to happen in my life. I will just let them figure it out after it is done. May God guide and protect us from wicked people. Amen. Always be careful of who you tell your plans to, to avoid near success syndrome. Not everyone has happened for you. Let them figure things out after it has happened. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment and share this video. Bye.